Right. Well, I'll tell you this, though, because me and Daylight, we go way back. And, and I remember a couple of years ago, Daylight told me that he has a song with J. Cole. So that song had been recorded a while. Now, well, we don't know if it's, the, I don't know. See, the question is whether J. Cole then changed his lyrics and they just kept their lyrics the same. But I, Daylight had told me that he's got a song with J. Cole a couple years ago. That's hip hop. And, and Daylight, hip-hop. Daylight wouldn't just Yo. say that without, without any sort of real proof. I'm, me hip-hop. and Daylight are actually, we go back. Hey, he's probably done more interviews with me than anyone else. That's hip hop. Hey, yo, we're dissing you. We're going to show how much of a fuck nigga you are. We're going to have a guy who used to be cool with you. Even if he's not dissing you, he's around when we're shooting the car up. Right. Okay? He's a witness. He's, he's a, a bystander. Witness. Yeah. Hey, it's hip hop. Okay? It's hip hop. Now, the question is, and I did a poll about this, will Drake respond? Now, Drake is doing the little, little speeches on stage and Don't putting up little memes or whatever else. Don't do this. Hey, listen, I'm here to, I'm, I'm almost like an OVO spokesperson for, right now. Really? This. Okay. Yes. Drake, unequivocally, 100 million percent will respond. Maybe not in the timely fashion that some people are trying to put onto him, because here's the thing, this is the A side. He is the A side. Also, here's the thing too, I'll be damned. If a guy takes five years off rapping, comes back with one album, goes, goes for another year, and pops up with a diss song, and I got to respond in three days. Oh, hell no. Okay? Now, going back to what I was saying about this type of rap beef. You see, I always got to use Meek Mill as like a, like a foil. He's stupid. Like, you could have defeated that motherfucker with anything. Okay? Like, he, like he's the guy, he, 2 plus 2 might be 22 to him. When we're talking about Kendrick Lamar, we're talking about a shrewd operator. Yeah. This is going to be the hardest battle Drake has ever had to face. Oh, yeah. Well, well, although, no, although, hold on, hold on, hold on. The, the, the Pusha T one was, was, was serious. In fact, he never even responded to Pusha T. And Pusha T came pretty tough. No, no, but, and he also exposed his son. No, he no, put no, up no, the no, blackface no. picture. But that's my point exactly. If we, what, what Drake made his fatal error was he got dissed on infrared. He said, fuck it. Load up the clip. We're dumping it. He never, he actually, he expected a response. He never thought the response was going to be something, which, by the way, he, he's a hip-hop historian his damn self. You should know in a battle, yeah, people will go dig up paperwork on your mans, like, just like battle rap, hey, your mans yeah. used to snitch, blah, 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 we're going to get it. So he was blindsided. And also, he thought that was off limits because apparently he had showed, um, like, either Kanye Yo, I do have a son. Now, he felt Kanye leaked that info to the guy, leaked info to Pusha T, and now Pusha T's weaponizing it. So he felt well, blind. Well, Pusha, Pusha T addressed this. He said it was a girl that was messing with 40. Okay. And, he, oh, and 40 was pillow talking to her, and hey, she went way, and told someone else. You do know that that's the go-to line when you find out information. Right. I didn't get it from your mans who really told me. I got it from the girl you're fucking. Yeah. <laughs> you're fucking too many girls. Right. Okay. But still, that was a um, fatal mistake he made. He won't make it again. This is why he's taking his time. Because here's the logic. Kendrick, who basically is Kawhi Leonard, the motherfucker played one game, skipped 30. Okay? Plays another game, skips 80. Misses two seasons, comes back, and plays all-star game. We don't know what's going on with him. So cool, he pops out out of the blue, He's on the album of the, dude, the two dudes. Keep in mind, Metro Boomin, he's, he's on Twitter like twiddling his thumbs and like, like <laughs> thinking he's like an evil villain. They're making a hate album for you, right? Which is, to me is the ultimate sign of respect, but still. And this guy who don't rap, who basically go to practice, just jumps on the album to diss you? Think about it. If we are supposed to believe that Kendrick don't have a diss song tucked in his pocket, ready to go, you would be very much ill-informed. I think what Drake is doing right now is trying to figure out what that is. Okay, we already diss you. Nobody put you on the clock, right? Because you're the guy who don't play. We diss you on first person shooter. You know it was like, yo, he better. Actually, pe- like people thought it was so cordial still, they didn't really even attach some of the disses to you. What did exactly, what did they say on first person shooter? So f- first person shooter, they pretty much boxed him out of the top. They said there is a big three, but they boxed him out of the top two. Yo, 
it's pretty much like the best shit is basically me and Drake where we have the Spider-Man meme. There was a bunch of other stuff like that was just littered in there just basically mm. saying, hey, he's just like me and Drake, we're the Super Bowl. We're one and two. Who goes to the finals? The two best teams. We're the Super Bowl. We're the end all be all. Um, yeah, shout out to the big three, but like we're the guys. We're the we're numero uno and both of them basically say it. They kind of boxed him out there and that's why you see you see um, Kendrick starts off by dismantling, hey, first, like you better come with a few switches when he says first person yeah. sh shooter. So, yeah, um, Kendrick responds. Drake, because of how aggressive Kendrick responded, now direct. See, now it, it felt more than just a verse. It felt like an attack. Kendrick has another song loaded, but he needs Drake to disperse. What Drake did did first, without knowing what Pusha might come back at him with, he dropped Duppy Freestyle. And when he dropped Duppy Freestyle, I thought, and I still think, and people will say you're a little biased because you're a huge Drake fan, but it's okay, I'll take that. But I still think, rapping-wise, Drake had the better song just off raps. But the exposal made the bigger moment, and that ended it. And of mm. course, Drake not responding to it, he lost. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, most people are giving it to push a T. Well, 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 it's not, it's, and that's the only, I felt the only cheek in Drake's, Drake's yeah. armor was push a T. And push a T still running his mouth. You know, oh, not a pinky has been, you know, placed on me. Not, but it's not like push you, ever you did get, anything to Drake. Like, you know. And listen, listen I, I call rap beast fair. And, and Drake's my guy. We don't have to give the push a, he won. He won yeah. because once someone stops re responding, I don't care what happened, your, your cat you win, died, right. you couldn't get You don't this. show up your to ball, court. Your yeah. ball, went over the, <laughs> ball went over the fence, you lost. It's over. Yeah, like, right. we're going to call this spade a spade. And I think Drake has learned that he has to accept that. In this situation with Kendrick, I think the stakes are higher because there was no chance that, you got to remember, even in the midst of this beef with, with, with Pusha, he gets God, God's plan. He gets his biggest songs. He gets, like, some of the greatest shit. Like, he goes on a run. This has a potential chance to make the actual culture look at Drake as, wow, he's really not number one. He's just like this pop guy who, yes, he does big numbers, but he's really not that number one. So what you're saying is that Kendrick could potentially Ja Rule Drake. Not Ja Rule Drake, but end the discussion about who is number one. I think Drake, I, I, I made this... um. People have to remember, go back with me in time. It's 2017, that's the year. Drake and Kendrick have always had this, like, you know, kind of competitive, like, uh, relationship. But not only that, fans have always said, it's like, uh, it's like when people used to, back in the day, compare, I don't want to say necessarily LeBron and Carmelo, but whoever those two guys who are kind of, like, number one and number two in, in whatever culture. LeBron and, and Kobe? Yeah, I guess LeBron and Kobe. Cool. And what would, uh, but of course, they're, they're really contemporaries, though. So... What happens is that everyone would be like, well, we think Kendrick raps the best, but this guy's the more successful commercially. Yeah. 2017, it threatened for that to flip where Drake was legit about to get eclipsed. Now, it, let me bring you back to the time. Drake drops more life, sells about 300 some thousand records. Kendrick drops damn. Biggest commercial rap album that year sells over 600,000. He's yeah. selling more than Drake, and they're saying he's rapping better than Drake. He's beating Drake in all categories. Right. Okay? Drake is in, Drake is in uh, the UK with gigs, you know what I mean, going crazy, right? He's getting his little international thing going on, right? Yeah. But at that point, this is the first time when both have dropped in the same year that Kendrick is out commercially performing Drake. But Kendrick always outperforms everybody when he drops. Not Drake. Never Drake. When, when was an album that Kendrick dropped that underperformed Drake? When, when did he ever? Uh, to Pimp a Butterfly, that was dropped 2014. Um, if we look back at uh, Drake's album right before Drake outperformed him. Like, it, Drake was always the most commercially viable uh, um, mm. okay. Um, um, product. Okay, you might be right. Right? Okay. That year, Fair enough. you remember, the, the dude had like 10 singles. The dude had this, this, the song with Lucario. He had, he had Humble. He had the song with Loyalty with... Um, um, Rihanna, like, had, like, 10 singles on there. DNA, like, that whole album went so crazy. 